we are playing The Guest. Made by the Fantabulous Beep Salt. Go check him out. And you can pick up the game at beepsalt.itch.io slash guest. I am not sponsored in any shape, way, or form. I'm a little quiet compared to the game. I have probably not lowered the music volume. Is that a little better? Hopefully that's a little better. Okay, okay, good. I hadn't done any audio for it. But, yeah. We are playing this game made by the fantabulous Beep Salt, who I have been watching for the better half of my life. So, yeah. Let's get into it. I don't know what this game is. I know it's a visual novel, and I know it's not too long. But let's do it. I'm sitting on my porch. It's a nice night. Cool fall breeze coming in from the east. Rocking chair sways with the wind. The leaves shuffle around on the ground in little eddies, spinning like a dance. My car pulls into the driveway. She's driving it, and I can see from here that she's drunk. Her eyes are red. Her long blonde hair is a mess. Hey, don't drink and drive, folks. She doesn't even bother to park the car straight. That would contribute to the drunk part. In the passenger seat is a man I've never seen before. But he looks like all the other guys. Short, dark hair, beard, around her age. She has a type. Okay. I am placing a bet. I'm placing a friendly wager. We are a ghost. I'm calling it right now. We are a ghost. I've not read anything. I've not seen any playthroughs. I've not done anything else. But my guess is we are a ghost. She's driving my car. He's bring. She's bringing the guy home. We are a ghost. We are her dead ex-lover. I'm calling it right here. She turns off the car and grabs her purse. He gets out of the car and walks to her side to open the door for her. She smiles and uses his body as a bounce to walk up to the front porch, up the few steps on the porch. Walk to the front door, up the few steps on the porch. Notice none of them acknowledged him. Neither of them even noticed me. I'm sitting silently in the dark. He looks over at the rocking chair, but he's obviously in a daze. She fumbles with her keys and she does and as she does, she looks over at me. What do I do? Okay. I think we're going to uh rock the chair harder. The porch boards creak and he looks over at the chair. I'm in the dark. He doesn't see much. But this is harder than the wind. I can see recognition in his eyes. She says nothing, just unlocks the door. She walks in the entranceway and he follows behind. We are dead. <laughs> I don't think there's anything more con more conclusive than we are dead. Neither of them moved to shut the door, so I follow them inside. Him. Nice house. Er. Thanks. It's my house, and those are my shoes on the floor in the middle of the hallway. She starts to try to kick them away into the open closet, but of course, this is suspicious. He's way too sober for this to work. We're dead. <laughs> what are you looking at? Whose shoes are those? It, it's a friend's. She could say that. I don't know what she's told him. A friend's. We're dead. These are a man's shoes. Yeah, my friend's a man. There's a pause. He fidgets, but he's not scared. Are you really single? I'm single, yes. Because we're dead. And we have been for a while. <laughs> I 
have stood up to whisper in, in the mic. Do you live alone? No one else lives here but me. No one else lives. It's very real estate. She's not wrong there, because we are dead. I used to have a friend staying with me. He left his shoes here. I keep asking him to come pick them up. <laughs> nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Crackhead, crackhead. That's why they're near the door. She starts trying to hush him, putting her hands to her mouth. Putting her hands to her mouth. She starts pawing at his coat, pulling him in. Ooh, okay. Here's the question. Were we murdered? She grabs the t-shirt and puts her arms around him, putting her very likely cold hands up the back of his shirt and starts kissing him. What do I do? Rock the chair even harder? <laughs> Go to the living room, go to the kitchen. Um, we'll go to the living room. In the living room, I turn on the television. No one's paid the cable bill. I can't at this point because we're dead. So the only thing on is static. I turn the volume up as loud as I can. <laughs> What's that sound? Sometimes the TV turns on old I'll go turn it off she comes in the room and looks around in the dark for the remote when she finds it she curses me under her breath and turns it off she goes back to him in the hallway let's go upstairs are you sure no one else is here she finally walks back uh, walks to the front door finally closes it locking it behind her yeah, we're alone. But she's wrong. I'm still here. I can't help myself. I grab the blinds and let them down and run my hands over them, making a rustling noise. She walks over to the windows in the front room and straightens the blinds. What was that? It's just an old house. Old house. No one else is here. I wonder if this reminds her of that night. I brought her home. She asked to come. That's what she said. <laughs> I drove her here to my house in my car. I let her in with the same key she just let him in with. We kissed where they are kissing right now. And she did to me what she's going to do to him. Last night, she was sitting in the rocking chair. She wears my clothes sometimes. It's okay. I can't wear them anymore anyway. Because we're dead. She's taken over my house. She has everything of mine. Because we're dead. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if she knows I'm here. But how could she not? I play with the leaves and the breeze. She looks at me. Or so it feels. What do I do? Rock the chair harder! Hey, what's up, Joe? Um, I turn on the porch lights. I flip on the lights. Hand off, and on again. <laughs> she makes a loud sulking noise. What is a loud sulking noise? This damn old house. She has to know that someone's here. <laughs> no. No. She takes him upstairs. They're still kissing. She's changed the sheets. Sometimes she has a visitor a few times a week. She doesn't do this with all of them. Some of them she doesn't find suitable. But what does that mean? Did she kill us? Is she a black widow? But this one, he's going to meet the same fate as me. He even looks like me, I think. I've begun to forget before now. Were we murdered? Forget who I was. 
screaming. It's the last thing I remember. She was talking still. Talking to me is... She was stabbing me. Do, 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 do. I called it. We were murdered and she murdered us. Aw, yeah. <laughs> this is how I love. Why me? Why me? Death tastes better this side of town. Keep screwing. There's no coherence. Probably no words. I don't remember what I said, only the feeling of the knife going into my body. Her mouth on mine. She licked my lips. I could feel her knife over and over. She kept talking as she stroked my face. She's a yandere! <laughs> no one can love you more than me now. <laughs> I'll be here. I'll be right here. It's an indie game and I support those. Now she's taken home stairs to my bed. It's a visual novel. They're kissing, and I am watching, as usual. I cannot stop this, no more than I could have stopped it happening to me. But I want to. What do I do? Okay. We're gonna try to stop this. We're gonna flick the lights. Turn the lights in the bedroom on and off twice. She pulls away from him and narrows her eyes, looking around the room like she could see something. Like she could see... Me. Her hesitation gets to him. He opens his eyes. I flip the lights once more, and he is able to take in the room. The stains on the floor, the tussled sheets, the look in her eyes, and on the nightstand, a knife. He backs up, growling under his breath. What the are you doing here? Nothing. <laughs> I don't know why she suddenly saw it. It's like, <sighs> Colonel, I tried to kill a man in my room, but the ghost is dummy thick, and the clap of the light switch kept alerting the guards. Um, <laughs> no, but I'm leaving. Are you sure? She looks at him, looks at the nightstand, and back to the light switch. I know this is his only chance, and I know if I had this, I would have taken it. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Sure, of course. No worries. How are you gonna get home? I'll figure it out. I've had fun. Have a good night. He backs up out of the room, grabbing his jacket from the staircase, and practically runs down the street. She is so very, very mad at me. But what can she do? I'm already dead. <laughs> She's the guest. Ding. The end. Text written by Beepsalt, beepsalt.hi.io, based on the song Guest, written by Gavin Castellan, linked to Spotify. Image is created in mid journey. Font is monogram. Thanks for playing. There's two endings to this story. This is the non-canonic one, but if you haven't seen the other ending, make some different choices. Click once more to return to the main menu. Yeah, naturally. Alright, let's try to do it. Get to the first question. What are we gonna do? Walks up to there, fumbles the keys, looks over at me. What do you do? Sit quietly. We're gonna let this happen. We're gonna let it happen. She stares past me. As usual. I haven't yet. I, that was literally the first time I played through it. She says nothing. Just unlocks the door. She walks in the entranceway, and he follows behind. Neither of them move to shut the door, so I follow them inside. Nice house. Thanks. Shoes, middle of the hallway. Starts to kick them away. Sus. He's the friend. Really single? Yes. Do I live alone? No. I mean, does really haunting the place really work? What do I do? Go to the kitchen. Make a ghost sandwich. <laughs> what was that? I love how her answer is, oh, it's an old house. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's the house. Just settling. Settling for being a noisy jerk. 
she sees nothing. Returns room in the hallway. Let's go upstairs. No one else is here. Front door locking it. Yeah, we're alone. Isn't it strange? Make a rustling noise. Okay, that one we couldn't control. Get that night. We get murdered. We are going to just sit here. Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't remember the actual song. Make some pottery, though. We should. Forget what I was. This is, she was yonder, Ray. I'll be right here forever and ever. Let it happen. Why do I always feel like I can stop this? I couldn't stop it for me, and I can't stop it for him. I don't know how many there may have been, that, been now. There will always be more. She continues to kiss him deeply. They both sit on the bed. She reaches back to the nightstand, feels around for something while keeping a tight hold on him. Just like me, he doesn't notice until it's already begun. She reaches back to the same blade and stabs him once in the back, then pushes him down on the bed. She's going to ruin your mattress, you think to yourself, <laughs> helplessly as usual. She holds her hands over his mouth and bites her lip. She looks down at him. He screams from behind her hand, muffled into questions. All my life I've loved like this. Why me? Don't worry. Death tastes better this time around. She grows weak and she leans into him, putting her lips into his and his gaze glide, eyes glaze over. I'll be... I'll be right here. I'll... The end.